I have to, I'm gonna start the video. I'm getting I'm stupid getting... ass people. <sighs> Why are you thinking the Bible, the book of Jeremiah, and Hosea, and the Lord said your people is foolish? His people are foolish. Because y'all reject knowledge. Right, well just tell them, we just pass. Let me see if I can get it on camera. That's amazing, man. There's a big ass line outside the video game store. Because what they waiting on the, the new GTA? That's just as bad as fools waiting in line for fucking Air Jordans. Yeah. Oh, they shoot. Ain't no difference. They shoot each other over them. Oh, they kick. Oh, I guarantee. I guarantee you, somebody gets uh, robbed for that new Grand Theft Auto. Right. Oh goodness. When the PS4 came out, motherfuckers was getting robbed, getting shot for the PS4. Should make me hate. Oh, video over games. a video game. Yeah, that should make me hate video games. Oh, you wanna get this? Oh, this is going. It's already recorded. Here you go, bro. Oh, you got some good gloves. Four and six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. <laughs> that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. Oh, this is all out of focus. But what's the Lord's name? That's, I don't know why it's doing what's that. What's the Most High's name? This is. I already cleaned it. I don't know why it's doing that. Probably just got just. Might be the cold fucking one. Oh shit, can't fucking. No, that's all right. Just out of focus, out of focus. Who gives a fuck? The audio that matters. Yeah, yeah, he said. And see, so you got fools, grown ass men, waiting outside a long ass line waiting to play a video game. <laughs> That's because they're foolish. Didn't you just read that Jeremiah? Uh-uh. That was Jose. I'm with Jeremiah. Look at that Jeremiah. These are some foolish people, man. Grown ass men playing video games all day long. That's all they do. Here you go. Jeremiah 4 and 23. Oh, let me start at 21. Oh, yeah. 20. <laughs> yeah, destruction okay. upon destruction is crime. <laughs> For the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled and my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sodas children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil but to do good, they have no knowledge. Oh yeah, what's that Grand Theft Auto game? That's all about stealing, right? It's called Grand Theft Auto. The whole game's about robbing motherfuckers, shooting, stealing cars. Hmm. Talk about hypocrite encouraging people, man. That's some shit. That's made by Rockstar. I mean... Oh, this real. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this is just some dumbass people, man. They'd rather play a video game to get some truth. And people wonder why we all slaves out here. Wonder why everybody got it. I'm surprised they can even afford to buy that game. Hmm. They probably going hungry just, just to buy a video game. And nobody out here got no fucking money. They're blowing somebody. Fucking right, you drive down the street. You see, you uh... When you drive down the street, you'll see like 20 prostitutes on one block. Hmm. Yeah, these bitches, because everybody's so damn broke, all these bitches gotta sell their ass just to feed their babies. Right, they cutthroat each other game. Yeah, and you see, yeah, they right, and they cutthroat each other. <laughs> bitches probably getting fights with each other. Yeah, there's prostitutes there. I've never seen this many prostitutes in my life, man. You will go down Main Street, they just hold every other, everywhere you see is a prostitute. We just driving down, don't drive down Sullivan, good lord. More than back in the day. You used to see them older hoes back in the day. Now, man, you see them younger. Oh, them young, they be out there 15, mm -hmm. 15 years old. But you know what I'm talking about. Those are our sisters. Because they are pointed to destruction anyway, them wicked ass motherfuckers. Game room freaks. Michael Jordan shoe freaks and shit. They gonna get stabbed over some Jordan. They used to do that shit back when I was in high school. 
Motherfuckers get, used to get shot over starter coats. But now you can buy starter shit at Walmart. It ain't nothing, dumb boy. <laughs> Cheap shit. Hey, you're some cheap shit now. But back in the day, starter used to be top of the line. And you get shot. I, I tried somebody try to rob me from my starter coat. I barely escaped. Yeah, my brother got robbed for his Jordans on the bus, on the Coda bus. Oh, yeah, I used to have, that's where you, you shouldn't be wearing no $200 pair of shoes. I had, a, I had a pair of Jordans before, like 10 years ago. Somebody pulled a pistol on me and tried to rob me from my shoes. Well, I just ran. I just ran. He didn't even. He, I just prayed to the Most High. Like you gonna have to shoot me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't walking home barefooted. I just took that chance. You be feel salty walking home barefooted. You know. The walk to the Most High because you know you have an angel with you to protect you that day. Yeah, really. You know, because actually a normal motherfucker would have got his motherfucking hand. Yeah, they would too. Bitches eating good. They feeding that whole good. I bet you she ain't from Columbus. Eating some horses. Oh yeah. There's Jew bastard. Oh okay. This is not what I was looking for. I found something in Isaiah that tells you about this. Oh, I'm just gonna get uh, Isaiah 13 and uh. I'm just gonna start at one. Man. Yeah, you can read a whole chapter. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can do that. The burden of Babylon, which I say, the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. That's, that's, that's pretty much what we're doing. Yep. We come out here, lift up the banner. Really, the banner is the word. All right, keep going. Um, exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones, I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that are rejoiced in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdom from nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts must muster the host of the battle. Yeah, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of the armies. That's just talking about that great war that's coming. Is the Lord gathering all them nations together right now to battle? And you see that article that was in the internet? It was on Drudge. It said uh, Putin has put the nuclear gun on the table. And he's pretty much threatening America with nukes. He's saying, well, I'm gonna, we're going to blow y'all bitches to smithereens. But, uh, don't fuck with us. We're going to shoot missiles on you. And that's pretty much what he's saying. You can't... Uh, Russia has the most advanced nuclear missiles. Plus, they just came out, they said ISIS has like a 200,000 man army. <laughs> you hear about that? So, so, and that's just them speculating, guess, guesstimating. Yeah. It's probably bigger than that. Because Ishmael, that was one of his blessings that he was multiplied greatly. Plus, that ain't just Ishmael either. They got people from all, Eagle, over, the, all over the world going, they even got Jake's going to join they that army. Got Edomites, they got Jake. Right, right. They got everybody. They said people going there, uh, joining ISIS, coming from Britain, Australia, Germany, United States. <laughs> but they all gonna die too, though. Yeah. ISIS is in my freezer. But. Huh? Oh no. They all gonna die. Oh, you know. <laughs> Motherfuckers on that Muslim shit. They shipping all these Muslims in America by the millions. Ah! There's so many goddamn Muslims out here. You think you're in Saudi Arabia? You ever see a Muslim? At, when you're driving down the road, almost almost every five minutes you almost get in a wreck because you got these all, all these heathen women driving over here. Every time a, someone almost hits you while you're driving, you look over. It's a goddamn Muslim bitch driving. Bitch can't drive because they came from all the Muslim countries. They ain't allowed to drive over there. They have no idea what they're doing. Well, with a woman, period, can't drive for the most part. Shit, I think they just started letting them ride bikes over there. Oh, yeah, there has to be in a, a, a special designated area, though, to ride bikes. That's right. They can't just be in public. They can't just ride wherever they want. Well, no motherfuckers with their license, I mean, their passport, man. Their license must automatically come with that shit. 
That's great. Because I see Jake failing their driver's license on the first two or three attempts. So you know a Somalian can't pass no driver's test. <laughs> right. I think they just give it to him. They probably don't even have to have it. They probably don't. They really don't. Because mm -hmm. they don't get pulled over. They don't. Right, yeah, the cops don't fuck with Somalians. The cops don't fuck with... Yeah, it is the cops are oppressing their own people. You know what I'm saying? When, if you was, uh, if a cop, see, a, a cop is the biggest piece of shit on the planet. All they do is uh, oppress people, steal your money, pass out traffic tickets. They don't never stop no crime. If, uh, if a cop was truly a, a righteous man and a man of the Lord, if they seen a Muslim, they just beat the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? Just beat the shit out of the Muslim, tell them to go back to where they came from. So you get the fuck out of here. This is this is our land. They ain't doing that. They're oppressing their own people. Right, right. I guess so. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree, unrighteous decree. That's those police officers, the judges. Yeah, because really, the, if the cops were really righteous, they, they would go down to Bexley and they would uh, uh, beat the shit out of all them Jews. You know what I mean? They don't, because they're the ones writing the laws, controlling the government. They're the ones writing the cops their paychecks. Yeah, they write the paychecks. So, so yeah, because because you got all kind of people taking up for uh, Darren Wilson down in uh, Ferguson, saying, "Well, he had the right to defend himself." No, he did. He's a fucking cop. He has the right to get the shit beat out of him. That's it. I don't care if Mike Brown was a piece of shit or not. That's irrelevant. Because you can't ever take up for a cop. Never, not once. So you'll never see me take up for a cop. Never not once. Okay. Because if you think about it, there was no cops, there would be no crime, right? Because if someone breaks in your house, if you put, if, if someone breaks in your house and you shoot them, they'll try to lock you up for that. You know what I mean? But if there was no cops, we'd be able to put people to death. Uh, we, uh, you'd be able to put an adulterous woman to death. What happened with O.J. Simpson? follow the laws of the Bible and put that bitch Nicole Simpson to death. He got arrested. He was on trial for like two years. Yeah, for two years. They locked him up. Yeah, so fuck the police, man. They, they are not, they're not here to keep law and order. They're not here to protect. They're just here to protect the interests of the elite. I, I'm, 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 I'm not even explaining that good enough. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Yeah, so a grievous law is saying you got to have a driver's license to operate a vehicle. Here it is, you own the motherfucking vehicle. You pay for it with your own money, but you got to get permission from someone else to drive something and to operate something that you own. That, that driver's license does not make that work, car work better or go faster. And then you got to get tags. Then you gotta get tagged. If you wanna drive your car, you gotta get tagged. If you don't get tagged, that piece of shit cop will pull you over and he'll 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 steal your vehicle from you and take it from you. You got to have insurance. But well, they say, well, you gotta have uh, your vehicle registered. What happens if you get in a wreck? Well, if, if they was just doing it just so we could keep track of everything, why you gotta get your uh, tags renewed once a year? That's just a money-making scam. It's, a, it's extortion. I'm right. sorry, this is extortion. Every year you gotta pay to renew them tax. How come it's just not just a one-time thing? It's all about money, stealing your money. And then on top of that, if you get caught driving without insurance, hmm. they'll, they'll take your license, won't they? Another penalty. Another, you get penalized Another once penalty. again. A, well, a fine and a penalty, because they suspend your license for three, six months. Up to nine months that first time offense with no driver with no insurance. So, so how are we going to sit here and take up for cops? Right. You got to be out your fucking mind. So I hope that dude Darren Wilson gets put to death. I hope they make a public spectacle out of his ass. And all these other cops out here. That's right. And there's a prayer of the righteous. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor. Well, yeah, right from the poor. Yeah, because first of all, you can't afford. Most people can't afford to get a car to begin with. That shit costs so much money, you gotta get a loan from the bank. And then the goddamn Jew is gonna charge you interest. He gonna charge you usury. And that's against the laws of the Bible. Charging someone interest on a loan, that's against the laws of the Bible. That's in what, Deuteronomy 23, I think? 
That's, a, that's against the laws of the Bible. Oh yeah, and be late on your uh, payment too. They're gonna take your shit. All these people brag too. To my, I got a nice new car. That car doesn't belong to you. That belongs to a, to the bank. That belongs to the Jew. To the so-called Jew. Then they got some faggot in driving a repo truck to come get it. Oh, you know, my dad was telling me, he said he got some Geico insurance. And he said Geico was trying to get him to install a device in his car that tracks everywhere he goes, the GPS tracks. He said, yeah, he said he dropped it. He said he dropped it. He said, fuck Geico. He, he went to somebody else. He said, I ain't putting that shit in my I'm car. I'm not surprised to hear that, too. Yeah, well, I'll say it has the safe driver thing you put in your car. If you get drives, they monitor where you drive, and if yeah, you don't get a wreck yeah. and shit, you get cheaper rates. That's, that's just, gonna be in the chip too. That's just to keep track of it. It's all about track. That's why all the new cars coming out, they coming out with the black boxes pre-installed. So you, you just getting tracked everywhere you go. You could be driving down the street, and the cops can just turn your car off while you driving. That's, that's, that's dangerous too. Right? Freeway, and it's already happened. It's already caused wreck. You know, already. The freeway, that car cut off the steering wheel locks so. What you gonna, what, you know, a bitch is gonna panic like a motherfucker instantly. <laughs> well, you know, we'll bail out. <laughs> Can you imagine oh, yeah, something we, like that, man? Oh, yeah, we'd be like GTA, <laughs> man. Grand Theft Auto. Can you imagine? We out the car, we heading up the hill. <laughs> Shit, I heard people that get caught drinking and driving have the breathalyzer in their car. And if it beeps, you gotta stop wherever you are. The car is gonna shut off the blow. Oh, they do have those in them. I saw that shit. Well, if you ever, a cop ever asked you to take a test, just refuse it. Just tell them to go fuck themselves. You're fucked anyway. Yeah, they're gonna arrest you anyway. They're gonna arrest you anyway. Just tell them to go fuck themselves. Like, sorry, I don't want to do that. Every time a judge gets pulled over, they always refuse a breathalyzer. Every time. Why is the judge? So the judge is a fucking demon. Because the cops pretty much work for the judge. And the judge works for the elite, works for the so-called Jews. They work for Esau. And all they're doing is stealing all y'all's money, man. Just keeping y'all in slavery. That's all they're doing. Who in their right mind comfortable with that? But you got motherfucker, they get pulled over by the cops and like, yes, sir. Maybe fuck these cops, man. They all gonna get put to death. It's kind of, that time's near, ain't it? It's getting near. Yeah. That time's near. Everybody getting fed up with these cops, man. These cops, they looking scared too. They gonna get fucked up. It's gonna just be like up in what happened up in Kiev. You see how they fucked those cops up over there in Kiev. They beating the shit out of the cops. They just beating the shit out of the cops over there in Britain. They beating the shit out of the cops down in Mexico City right now. Cops getting the shit beat out of them. That is beautiful. Oh, the, uh, the uh, seditions. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. Go ahead, Brian. Oh no, go ahead. I'm good, man. I just, it, it just disgusts me how people take up for cops and say we need cops to keep law and order. You ever read them comments on the Ferguson's or the RT covers it, the press covers it? Read the comments, man. It's all pieces of shit. Yeah, hey, everybody takes it. Here it is. Uh, if it was on any other article, everybody be like, "Fuck the police." But now, since the Ferguson thing, they're all talking shit. They're saying if I, that was me, I would have emptied two clips on him. They, that's what they say. I, I would have emptied out two clips on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers, yeah. They, they just are so glad to see a nigga get shot to pieces. So get the shot. How many times did he get shot? Nine. I, I'm not saying he probably deserved to get shot. It was nine times, wasn't it? He deserved to get shot, but so Darren Wilson deserves to get shot. These people are hypocrites. They, they hypocrites. It's a hypocritical nation. It's a hypocritical nation. They're smiling in your face. They're going to take up for their own oppressor just because mm -hmm. they is glad that he shot a nigga. Or they're or they feminine faggots. Yeah. Afraid to come against the, the women. That's what it is. Afraid. Yeah. They, they have me watching them Alex Jones videos and everybody taking up for the cop, man. A bunch of fucking faggots, man. Y'all need put to death, each and every last one of them. I'm kind of curious because I ain't watched that faggot in a minute. What's his opinion? Well, he's taking up for the cop, of course. 
Well, he tried to ride the fence with it. But... Playing both sides. Yeah, he played both sides. Yeah. You know how he does it. Yeah, yeah. he got he got to get everybody's money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Old Alex never let you down. Here you go, buddy. This captain slow. The Zionist agent. Wisdom of, Sol Wisdom of Solomon 6, verse 8. For the so a sword trial shall come upon the mighty. Mm. Until you, therefore, O king, do I speak, that ye may learn wisdom and not fail away. For they that keep holiness holy shall be judged holy. And they that have learned such things shall shall find what to answer. What's 6? Six, what's six, six, No, that's not, that's all. Like the mighty it. man being too in there. Yeah, go ahead, read that. That's all, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, wisdom of Solomon 6, verse 6. For mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but mighty man shall be mightily tormented. Yeah, like those mighty, that's the police officers. All right, going with the military. Right now, we talking about them goddamn cops. And you, they, they all think they mighty. They all getting uh, doped up on steroids. They going in a roid rage. They're on a power trip. They like to punk people. They like to show you that they're in control and you ain't nobody. Mm. They, you know, they like to pull you over. Mm. They, they go through your property. They take your bag. They go through your bags. They'll go. They'll put you on the side. And they'll, they'll put you in cuffs. Go up inside your pockets. Finger they will actually wife. go inside your pockets. Yeah. Finger your wife. Right. They yeah, right. They'll they'll fuck with your wife. They fill her titties. Molest your little kids. These motherfuckers, man. So anybody taking her for cops, man, y'all deserve death. Straight up, man. Yeah, right. fuck the police. They the fucking enemy. They the enemy of them. They the devil. I got a scripture to prove that. Is that all? Is there more to that? Oh, that's how I guess. All right, let me read this real quick. Revelation two and ten. Actually, let me start at nine. We might as well. I know this is Revelation two and nine. I know that works and tribulation and poverty. Like we said, we're poor. It is we're poor, but these cops are constantly fucking with us. They don't never the cops don't never patrol in the rich neighborhoods, do they? Never. They always patrolling in the poorest neighbors neighborhoods, fucking with the poorest people, taking a little bit of money, a little hard-earned money you got. Give you a traffic ticket. Motherfuckers stress out over that ticket too. They ain't stress out for months, like, man, I don't know if I can be able to do this. I ain't gonna be able to pay my rent. I gotta pay this damn ticket. But if I don't pay it, I'm gonna get a warrant. Then they give you a warrant. They turn nine criminals into criminals. You go to the courthouse, the whole goddamn courthouse is packed full of people. Uh, they just got like traffic tickets and bullshit. You know, they pull your ass over and they, them tickets come up, man. They look at you as a criminal, man. Yeah, you are a criminal. Because even if you've been convicted of something or not, as long as it's over there, you're a criminal. Well, if you don't pay, you get a warrant. Yeah. And they'll put you in yeah. cuffs. Yeah. And they put them cuffs on you tight, too. They don't look, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what about child support? They, these, these guys, the cops are the number one captain save a hoe. Here it is, we got all these adulterous women out here commit adultery left to right. And then they'll talk shit back to their husband. They'll call the cops on you. And the cops will come and lock you up. Just because a bitch lied and said you hit her. You know what I mean? Or you know, a woman will leave you and you won't pay child support. Child support is evil. Because a, a, an adulterous woman is supposed to get put to death. But in America, they uh, reward a woman with child support when well, she's supposed to get death. But a cop will come through and enforce that law and they'll lock you up because you didn't pay child support. So how, how is that a righteous man whatsoever? There's no such thing as a righteous cop. They're all devils. Uh, let me read this. Bro. Oh, you got bad. something? Uh, yeah, I got it. I'll keep going. Revelation 2 and 9, I know that works in tribulation and poverty, that thou, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And that, that's the number one enemy is the synagogue of Satan, the Rothschilds, because the cops, they all work for the Rothschilds and fake Jews. Hell, that's the head of the snake. That's the head of the snake. You know? So you cut the snake's head off, that snake's no good. That's, yeah, because the, the cops, they work for the interests of the international uh, banking families, mm -hmm. okay? They, they work for the elite. They protect the interests of the elite, not yours, okay? They don't give a damn about you. Because who, who do you think all that money, what do you think all that, 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 that ticket money is going to? When they arrest you, give you a ticket, who do you think gets that money? 
It ain't going to the state. It ain't going to the roads. All the infrastructure of the country is falling apart. Bridges collapsing. What did you get a D minus? Have you yeah? <laughs> have you driven down fucking Main Street? You blow a tire every two days. Yeah, potholes are like they're like a sinkhole. Unless you go through Bexley, Jew Capital. Oh yeah, as soon as you get to Bexley, oh yeah. When you drive through Columbus, streets is raggedy, but you hit Bexley, that's where all the Jews live. The streets are smooth as a baby's ass. They, the, they have perfect new signs, new everything. That's right, no trash. There's no, not a speck of trash. All the yards well manicured. Yeah, they got nice. This is the nicest area in the whole city. <laughs> Lit up beautifully. <laughs> Shit, fucking rats. That's the it's problem. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So that's that proof really that, that the cops that's are the devil, that's like Satan, that. okay? According to the Holy Bible, the cops, the police officers, they're Satan. The judges are Satan, okay? America is the kingdom of yeah, Satan. Yeah. That's all there is to it. We live in Satan's kingdom. Let me read that again. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So we know that devil's talking about an actual person. It ain't talking about someone down in the underworld, in a fiery underworld. You know, a red devil with a pitchfork and a tail. It's not, that's not talking about that. This is talking about the fucking cops, okay? Talking about the judges. That's who that's talking about. Satan said that you may have be tried and you shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So you're supposed to be faithful unto death. Here you go. This is the root. Six. Six and three. Six. The root three and eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Oh yeah, that's a good way. We're in captivity. So if you free, right, because you're driving up and down the street, every, every time you see a cop, you get scared. Because you know he's going to fuck with you, man. And he's going to rob you. He's going to give you a ticket. He's going to ruin your whole fucking day. You do get worried. You know, if you got warrants on you or not, man. Yeah, yeah. You get worried. You don't want no ticket. Well, everybody's got a warrant. You know what I'm saying? Even old women got warrants. We're all fucking criminals. That's how they do you. Yeah. People be like, well, if you ain't did nothing wrong, you got nothing to worry about. Shit. Bullshit. Shit. You hear that a lot, too. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. Yeah, that's a curse. <clears throat> Living in this shit, this is a curse. Living in America, and it's fucked up because we live in something. This is pretty much like a, a neo feudal society. And this is neo feudalism. It's like we're all a bunch of peasants, we're all a bunch of filthy peasants, and then we got these overlords ruling over us. They just coming and just we ain't got no money, but they still coming and taking everything you got anyway. It's like you ever seen that Robin Hood cartoon, mm -hmm. the Disney one? What, uh, motherfuckers can't barely eat. They got like one little silver coin hidden and the sheriff of Nottingham comes and take it anyway and laughs at him. You got three pennies, he'll come and take two of them. You know what I mean? There's a that scripture that says that his heart, he, 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 he never has enough, you know? He's just a wicked piece of shit. Just a wicked piece of shit. Um. For reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments <laughs> according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our our power. Yeah, right. This is a punishment for not obeying the most high. See, if everybody was obeying the most high, we wouldn't have none of this shit out here. There won't be no cops, there won't be no taxes, there won't be no uh no usury. Like we say, charge us on an interest. Yeah, that's against the laws of the Bible. You people are so stupid. You think it's normal to, to get a car loan and gotta get a car note and pay interest. That's against the Bible, you dumbass. You, you think it's normal 
to go get a house and, and, and them house loans got a high interest rate on them. Okay, you know, you're supposed to be charging no interest. Anything has got interest on it, don't it? Credit cards, <laughs> high as interest. And y'all poor as fuck, and the poorer you are, the highest the interest rates are. Don't you think since you're poor, it might be lower to help you out? No, the poorer you are, the higher the interest rates What's are. What's that, 24, 25% interest? It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's like, ridiculous. You can't pay that back. Hell no, it's impossible. That's why people get this shit repossessed anyway. Yeah, even, we was talking about GameStop earlier. Even GameStop came out with their own video game credit card. And it's like 20 something percent. Wow. Somebody was telling me about it. Yeah. He said he got one. To give him one. Fuck, I hate GameStop. Man. Oh, yes, interest, man, that your car break down and get a simple problem with simple maintenance. You can't even afford to get your shit fixed. Nope. You know, even simple maintenance on the oil change, tune up or whatever, you know. Only a fucking devil. Only a fucking devil. Well, the cars cost so goddamn much, they shouldn't even cost that much. A brand new car, what? How many back in the 60s and 50s was like like 5,000 or something? Mm. It was way cheaper, you know what I mean? It's not a lot cheaper than Poyman. I saw on, uh, like, uh, around 700, 800, oh, 900 dollars. Yeah. This is—is well, is that the one with Josh Gibson in it? I can't fucking remember, man. Richard Pryor was in. I know that. Oh, I don't know if I seen yeah, it. It's old, early seventies. Some bingo, some. Uh -huh. Yeah, on the car lot, the cars is for like eight, nine hundred dollars. Yeah, but that's <laughs> back when the money had more value. Mm -hmm. That's all because of the interest too. That's why they got something that what they call it, uh, inflation. Inflation, all that is is interest. Cause these goddamn Jew devils charging everybody interest. <laughs> Yeah, when the price of gold goes up, it really doesn't go up. It's just the value of the dollar goes down. Right, because every every dollar that's created, uh, a debt is created when that dollar is created. It tells you it's a debt note right on the bill, don't it? Yeah, that's right. The system being manipulated by rats, by rats and roaches. To turn aside a needy from judges and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and, and that they may rob the fathers. The widows are their prey. They take advantage of these old women too, man. Because these old women, they dumb as hell. They so stupid. <laughs> you think the men are stupid. So how dumb you think the women are? The men are supposed to be the brains of the house. So these old women, they so easily to manipulate and to rob and they get their money. So you don't want you to lie to them. They're stupid. They're right. They're dumb. They're stupid. They so they easy to manipulate. Well, all you people are easy to manipulate, man. That's why y'all cool with uh, paying taxes. Y'all cool with getting driver's licenses. If everybody had any sense, everybody would stop taking the, the uh, everybody would take their tags off their car. Rip up their fucking uh, driver's license. That would never fucking happen, man. What bastards gonna do then, they would, Yeah, they couldn't do nothing. If, yeah, what would they do if everybody did that? What would, that, what would the government do? They, they can't do shit. But that's not gonna happen. It's Cause you all good, you all well trained slaves. You know what I mean? Just like when you go to the uh, to the farm, the cows ain't never gonna run away from the slaughter. They just gonna line up and get that bullet through their head, or ever how, however how they do it. You know what I mean? What's that scripture in Isaiah three? The ox, the ox knows his master. Uh, Isaiah one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Isaiah one. Yeah. My bad, my bad. <laughs> An ox got more goddamn sense than these motherfucker people. That's funny. Okay, and what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the in the destruction which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help? And where will ye sleep your glory? Without me. Oh yeah, on that day and on that day of destruction, is, are the cops gonna be there to save you? Oh, down in Ferguson, they told, what did they tell everybody? Go they, buy a gun. They said, go buy a gun. Several we, guns. Protection. Yeah, they said, they said, buy several guns. They said, <laughs> we cannot protect them. That's what the cops told the people in Ferguson. <laughs> they told the people to go buy guns because we cannot protect you. Because you know, a cop has never saved a single life. Ever. Never. Never. A cop only shows up after you're already dead to draw the chalk line. <laughs> line the body. Yeah. That's all they do. Right, right, right. They show up after the fact. Hey, I gotta put this tape up too. 
<laughs> Put the tape up around the crime yeah, scene. This ain't comic book land when uh, Clark Kent had come through that motherfucker faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> and, and you know what I'm saying? Save you at the last second. <laughs> That's fantasy land. The cops ain't saving nobody. They're passing out traffic tickets still on your property. That's all they're doing. But what is going to become a reality is dude with the scroll, um, the Punisher. Punisher. That's coming real. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's coming real. I'm wearing and the he Punisher be, shirt right now. And he pun what the Punisher do kill is all the sinners. Yeah. You know? That was Punisher is my favorite character. He's a bad boy, man. You should see the one with him and the Wasp, man. That's bad as hell. And the Wasp? Yeah, no. Nah, oh, did I say Wasp? What was that, a cartoon? Yeah, it's a new uh, one, too. I never seen a cartoon. It's bad, man. It's bad as hell, man. It's but I grew, I grew up reading Punisher. You talking about blood and gore, man? This is a cartoon that's full of it. My shit was the. You gotta read the John Romita Jr. Punishers. <laughs> you know, back from the nineties. Right, that was right, my right, shit. Right. He just he would shoot any. He see somebody smoking crack, he come up shooting right in the fucking head. Mm. <laughs> mm. He is killing every damn buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's what the world needs. Yeah. He's right. he just an angel of death. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It, Yao Ming. Well, that's that Ammon, man. Yo, these freaking weirdos. Hey, go on here. That's died. <laughs> right. Hey, see, he comes from over to America. He's so, man. Turned into some weirdos. Yeah. 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 These motherfuckers are living good, too, man. Comes a herd of Chinese motherfuckers. A herd. Ha 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 ha. Be Chinese. Ha ha ha. We are going to get to a video game. We are going to get the video game. Uh, me no speak of English. Me no English. Assholes. Pieces of shit. They act like they think it's good to speak to you, man. They look down on you. Big Jackie Chan looking motherfuckers. They literally look down on us, man. They do. That's why I make fun of them. That's why when we was little kids, because when you, remember when you was little, you never see Chinese people that much? It was very rarely. And every time we would see one, every time we would, because we was crazy look. We used to go like this. And like, yeah, we go up, do the eat that, or we jump up in front of them and go. What are they <laughs> like you don't know. Well, so we are obvious jakes. You know what? They still stay out in the same oh, neighborhood yeah. I grew up in, man. Oh yeah. They were straight up jakes, man. Straight up jakes, man. They used to get fucked with. That, but now they don't. Oh yeah, we used to clown yeah. on them, man. But they was cool. As well, fuck. yeah, some of them, some of these heathens are actually our people. Mm -hmm. yep. So you know, we ain't stupid. Yep. Oh, oh, that's bad. I didn't realize that was in there. Verse 6. I'm going to keep on reading. Yeah. Um, without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners. I like that right there. Oh, bow down. Yeah, under the prisoners. We are the prisoners. We are here in captivity. In oppression. But soon these devils, they're going to get locked up in their own dungeon. Yeah, right. The king going to get locked up in his own dungeon. <laughs> Damn right. And yeah, and all, all of his servants, they're gonna take off running. You know, we're gonna have these bastards dig their own pit and climb it. Yep. Dig, dig your own they, shit. They used to do that too. Yep. Yep. They yep. make yep. them dig yep. your own grave, then yep. they bury your ass in. Yep. <laughs> I seen knees. a movie when they did that. I yeah, a few of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> make you dig your own shit, grave. ISIS is making them do right that already. Huh? ISIS over there making people do that shit right That's now. That's bad, man. That's the world. This world needs that shit, man. Take this devil down. Dude, man. It needs it, man. It, this world has to turn into a barbaric world to take Esau down, man. That's exactly what's happening. Oh, well, I like me some barbarism. No, it's gonna be beautiful experience, that man. It's gonna be beautiful. It is, it is a foul, a feminine spirit out here, man. A bunch, a bunch of well-trained slaves. Um. Without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners and they shall fall under the slain. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send him against an hypocritical nation. Oh yeah, America's a hypocritical nation, mm -hmm. is it not? Oh, like we was talking about that, uh, what's that faggot, Mike Brown and Darren Wilson? Darren Wilson. Like, like you can on Alex Jones's comic boards or RT or any of these comic boards on the internet. Now, anytime it, there's any police talk about the cops shooting somebody, everybody be like, "Oh, fuck the police. We hate the cops." But when it happens to a nigga, then everybody's all for it and they're cheering the cop on. But actually, we support the cops shooting people. Actually. Cause they gonna have what they got. That's what they're supposed to do. They're just doing their job. But soon they gonna get fucked up. 
What's up, weirdos? I will send him against the hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the school and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. Tread them down like the mire of the street. Good, keep going. That's the mud in the street. You want me to keep going? Yeah, what's that? Where you at? Oh, I'll say a 10. Oh, I thought you was a... I got so bad. I thought you was a 13. Right, just answer. Yeah. Actually, I should have finished it. Yeah, that's, that's right. some good stuff. Let me go to back to... Let me go to Psalm 64. Oh, that's good. Okay, hear me. Hear my voice, oh, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Yeah, from the fear of the enemy. That's why, that's why you, when you're driving down the street, you got to pray. <laughs> the fucking cops don't pull your ass over. Yeah. Yeah, the most, if you call in the Lord's name, he'll deliver you too. Yeah. Say so sometimes you get, they might actually get you and pull you over. You can throw a prayer up and they might let you go. You know what I mean? Or they can, or if you ain't right, they'll beat the shit out of you. You get it done like Mike Brown. See what happened? Mike Brown wasn't calling on the name of the Lord, was he? That's why he got fucked up. So that ain't gonna, that, that ain't gonna happen to no righteous man. That's right. Um, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Secret counsel of the wicked. That's going into the Illuminati. And don't you know that even the, uh, we're talking about cops. The cops is a is actually a form of Freemasonry, and all even the Marine Corps is a form of Freemasonry. Did y'all know that? It was all created by Freemasons. They even have Freemasonic lodges that are dedicated to only law enforcement. Did you know that? So it's all that goes back to that secret council because they plot on y'all in secret. You know what I'm saying? There's an agenda out here to keep you enslaved. Well, they, they, they go and join the military. I used to be in the military. And a lot of the ex-Marines, a lot of the cops are ex-Marines. You know what I mean? And then they all, they become Freemasons. And they get in their little secret orders. That's why all those cops down in Ferguson, they all take enough for Darren Wilson. They plot, they ready to start killing you fools, man. And they was wearing armbands that said, I am Darren Wilson. Hey, Sean, can you hold this just one second? It's amazing, man. So-called cop, act like he's cool. Some of them act like they're cool. They try to act like they're cool. You know, right, the guy, when you're not around, they, they, man, they witness all kinds of witness shit. Well, they, they, they ain't no such thing as a cop that's kind of cool. Right. Because I used to think that, yeah, there come might be a couple cool cops. No, there's not. Because this motherfucker's still going to work every day, pulling people over, taking their money, writing tickets. There's nothing cool about that. You, right, you can study that Bible all you want. As long as you're wearing that uniform, you're the devil. That's all, you know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say. Because I had a cop that, that one day I got arrested at Schiller Park when I cussed out the cops. That They had me in the back of the cop car, and the cop was like, I don't feel right about this. He was talking to the other cop. Yeah, he believed in the Bible, so he didn't feel right about arresting me. But if he really believed in that Bible, he had quit that job. Go find a new job. Let I me mean, go be an electrician or something. Give up all them benefits. Yeah, yeah they give me all the benefits, don't they? That's not a faggot shit at the market. Yeah. Well, plus, if you're a cop, Man, you get to pull people over, you get free weed. When a cop pulls you over, they take your weed and it's going right in their pocket and they smoking that shit and they selling that shit, okay? What do you think they doing with all that weed? A cop probably gets uh, two pounds of weed a day. He got, he got more weed he can ever. He got pounds of weed just from one week's worth of work. He got a whole goddamn closet full. What do they do? If, they, if a cop pulls you over, you got weed on you, they taking it. They going to take it. And then they let you go. They're like, this is just a warning. <laughs> We're just warning. Is that what they do? This is just a warning. A warning my ass. How come you don't report it? And they can't say they don't have it because a cop just got convicted here in Columbus a few months ago for 
protecting drug dealers and taking robberies and shit. I, I used to, trust me, I smoked pounds of weed in my life. I've had cops take my weed before, and they are, every time they say, this is just a warning. <laughs> Why don't you write me up and give me a ticket? No, it's because they taking your fucking weed, man. And they, and they put it in their pocket. It, it, it ain't fucking rocket science. Same thing if you got a big stack of cash in your pocket, too. They be like, where you get all that money, boy? And they gonna take your shit. They gonna take your money. They gonna take your weed. They gonna take everything you got. That's all there is to it. If you got pills, they taking your pills. Whatever their hearts desire. And they gonna let you off with a warning. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bastard. <laughs> yeah, you might making that shit up. Man, you gotta be blind not to see that shit, man. Or a fool. Or a fool. Mm -hmm. And then people do see, but they, they just accept. Oh, that's just the way it is. They accept it. They accept it. This is a nice prayer. Uh, from the insurrections of workers of iniquity, who when they're... Hey, man, these cops, you ever seen that movie Training Day? That's how the cops are. That's the perfect movie to watch, man. That descri that's describes these devils perfectly. What was that? Oh, shit. That's Satan fucking with you. Yeah. I don't even understand why that shit happens. They got winter allergies now. You never know what he saw. Like. They're spraying shit on us. They are spraying shit did. on us. Yeah, yeah. Like the other day, I yeah. felt like I was high on acid or something. God damn. Yeah, they were spraying some, something, the food in the air or something. Yeah. I, yeah. I didn't do nothing. I wasn't drunk. I was dr just eating food and drinking water. Yeah, because that same shit happened to me, man. Same shit happened to me. It happened to me like a few months ago. I felt like I was stoned, man. Yeah. I, I drank some water. That was all I did when I got there. It was probably in the water. Yeah. Shit. I, I was really walking around. You know, from cloud fucking nine, man. That happens to me you all know? the time. I had just got the fuck up and, and you know, I sleep, I get up, I, I'm up all night, but I, you know, I get up late. Yeah, well, they say that's what fluoride does. The fluoride can put you, they put fluoride in the water, and the fluoride can put you in a uh, dreamlike state, make you all lackadaisical and shit. And if they not put fluoride in the food, the food's genetically modified. And I told you this, I heard somebody say they put, they put uh, that saltpeter shit in their food. They put gunpowder in their food, which, which, you know what that does to you. That's fucking crazy. Who, who wet their, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. They shoot in the secret. That's what they doing up, up in Congress. They having little secret meetings up in Congress. They do something there plotting on your ass, man. That's all they doing. That's why the government is constantly bringing in all these heathens from these other nations. All these goddamn Muslims. Fucking some everywhere. He looks a goddamn Somalian, a Muslim. And they shipping them all in here just to take your jobs. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They, they bringing them in to replace your ass. Uh, yeah. To help oppress you. Heathens. And that's just the spirit. You don't see none of us hanging around some fucking heathens. Yeah, so we ain't nobody hanging out with no Somalians. Creepyopians. There's some weird looking bitches too. Them Ethiopian women. Unless they Israelite, they ugly as hell, man. They just got a foul spirit on them, man. I can't deal with them. I see them everywhere I go. I go to the, the grocery store down Main, uh, up on Hamilton, the Kroger's. That's like going to a foreign country. It's like you got to get a passport just to go to that Kroger's. <laughs> they already know where I'm at. They already zeroed in. You got the smartphones, the computer, IP. I mean, if you want a computer, it's over for you. Unless you, goddamn Eric Snowden, you ain't stopping the feds. I know some computer programming. I ain't that good. The feds, they got experts. But you can't fuck with them. Can't fuck with them. You, yeah, you gotta use a tour browser or something. With, with, uh, with, five, with five proxies and a tour and 
Fuck all that. I just would rather have you spy on me to go through all that trouble. You motherfuckers work with computers big as a building, man. Imagine what some computers that they're Yeah, that goes back to the goddamn cops and the government. I was just uh, seeing an article on the news was it, today or yesterday. They have uh, encrypted smartphones coming out. They're encrypted so they. You know, the, the earlier smartphones, it's real easy to hack. But they got new smartphones coming out. That they're coming uh, with encryption built in and all this. They got open source smartphones coming out. <laughs> but you got the government trying to pass laws, trying to say it's illegal for you to, to encrypt your smartphone. To, to make sure they can spy on you. They're trying to pass laws to make sure. Or to say your kids are going to get killed. Oh, yeah, they said if we. If we allow people to encrypt their phones, uh, yeah, children are going to die. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> they would die if it wasn't encrypted, right? Because you got somebody hacking you, get your location, a stalker. That's fucking retarded, man. And tell women stupid shit. <laughs> they believe it. That's how they're going to bring that microchip in. But soon they're going to start microchipping you fools. And they're going to they gonna bring it in. They're going to be like... Well, the microchip is for the children. So if, you, if your little baby has a chip in her and she gets lost, we'll be able to find her real quick. And that's how they're going to push that microchip. They're already doing it. And they're doing it slowly, incrementally. They're going to do it a little bit at a time so you don't notice it. Slowly but surely, more and more people are going to get chipped. Before you know it, damn near everyone's going to be chipped. Yeah. And that's the mark of the beast spoken of in the Bible. What does the Bible say about the mark of the beast? Are oh, you just about to get it? Yeah, yeah. We're going to find out what the Bible says about the mark of the beast, which is a microchip. Okay? An RFID chip. A GPS tracker chip. Well, you, this is Revelation 13. And I'm going to start at, um, I'm going to start at 12. So 11, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exercised all the power of the first beast.